brain games come in a wide variety of forms, from traditional Sudoku and crossword puzzles on paper to specialized apps for brain training. Brain training games are used by people of all ages to enhance cognitive performance and delay cognitive aging. These claims are supported by research that demonstrates how long term play of brain training games can enhance cognition in a variety of ways, including response time, memory one, focus, and logic abilities. Try these games and exercises to exercise your brain while having fun. These may help you become more focused and mentally healthy. Number 10. Azul. Azaleos, initially white and blue ceramic tiles introduced by the Moors, were enthusiastically adopted by the Portuguese when their monarch Manuel I was entranced by the exquisite beauty of the Moorish decorative tiles while on a visit to the Alhambra Palace in southern Spain. The monarch, who was astounded by the Alhambra's interior magnificence, immediately gave the order to have wall tiles comparable to those in the Alhambra installed in his palace in Portugal. You have been given the task of decorating the walls of the royal palace of Evora as a tile, laying craftsmen. In the game Azul, players take turns adding color tiles to their player boards by drafting them from suppliers. Players later in the round earn points based on how they've decorated the palace with their tile placements. Certain patterns and finishing sets result in bonus points. Wasting supplies lowers a player's score. After the game, the player with the most points wins. Number 9. Corkle. 108 wooden blocks in 108 different colors and 6 distinct shapes make up the abstract game Corkle. Players just use any accessible flat surface. There is no board. The game starts with 6 blocks for each player. Blocks with a single matching attribute, color or shape, but not both, are placed on the table by the starting player. After that, a player adds blocks close to at least one block that was previously played. All of the blocks must be placed in a straight line and must, without exception, match the previous block's color or shape. Each block a player plays earns them one point, plus any adjacent blocks. A block may accrue points in more than one direction. Number 8. Dominion. Each player in Dominion begins with the same, incredibly limited deck of cards. The players can purchase additional cards from the center of the table as they have the money to do so. Players build their decks on the fly, looking for the most effective way to earn valuable victory points towards the end of the game through their decisions regarding which cards to purchase and how to play their hands as they are drawn. Although Dominion is not a CCG, the game's gameplay is quite similar to the design and play of a CCG deck. 500 cards are included in the game. To add variation, you choose 10 of the 25 Kingdom card kinds to use in a single play. Number 7. Ticket to Ride Ticket to Ride's gameplay is deceptively straightforward and can be learned in just 15 minutes. Participants amass cards depicting various train car types, which they use to stake claims to North American rail lines. The more miles traveled, the more points are earned. Extra points are awarded to players who complete destination tickets, which are goal cards that link far, off cities, as well as to the person who creates the longest continuous path. According to Alan R. Moon, author of Ticket to Ride, the rules are so straightforward that they could be written on a railway ticket. Number 6. Codenames. A simple party game to solve problems is called Codenames. The red and blue teams in the game each have a team captain who is responsible for guiding that group to victory in the end. There will be 25 cards with various words on the table at the start of the game. Each card corresponds to a slot that stands for a distinct hue. The color of the card can only be seen by the team captain. The team captain should give instructions by the wording, enable his team members to discover the cards of their complementary colors, and discover every card of their color to triumph. Number 5. Blocus. Players in the abstract strategy game Blocus, officially pronounced Blockus, attempt to place colored, transparent Tetris, shaped pieces onto the board. The only restriction on placing a piece is that it must touch at least one corner of one of your existing pieces on the board rather than lying next to your other pieces. In one type of solitaire, the player tries to remove every piece in a single session. Game Objective The goal for each player is to place as many of their 21 pieces as they can on the board. Number 4. Sudoku. Played on a board of 9x9, Sudoku is a mentally demanding number game. 
There are 9 3 by 3 squares on the Sudoku board. The goal of the Sudoku game is straightforward. The numbers 1 through 9 must only appear once in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box on the Sudoku board. The Sudoku game gets harder as the level of difficulty increases, and you'll need to use increasingly sophisticated and strategic logic to solve the problems. Number 3. Caton Settlers By constructing villages, cities, and roadways, players in Caton, formerly the Settlers of Caton, attempt to establish themselves as the dominating force on the island of Caton. The resources that the island produces are determined by rolling dice each turn. Each land type, except the unproductive desert, produces a particular resource. Hills produce brick, forests produce wood, mountains produce ore, fields produce wheat, and pastures produce sheep. Players construct by using the resources, sheep, wheat, wood, brick, and ore that are represented by these resource cards. During setup, enormous hexagonal tiles, each depicting a resource or the desert, are randomly arranged in a honeycomb pattern and surrounded by water tiles, some of which have ports of exchange. On each resource tile are number discs that correspond to the throws of the two six-sided dice. Number 2. Scrabble. Reviewing the board game Scrabble is time, one of the most traditional games of all, quite likely, you've already heard of it. You have a board with some letters and squares on it. Create words with your resources and write them on the board among other words, like a crossword game. The total of each letter plus any appropriate multipliers you may find on the board will be your points. Some individuals favor playing Scrabble with just two other players. I like to play it with four people since there are more opportunities to connect your own words and because other players might accidentally place a word where you were intending to play yours. That makes the game more entertaining but I still play it with only two people as sometimes you just want to chill and don't have a bigger group of people at hand. Number 1. Chess. Chess is a game that is frequently associated with intellect and has been shown in numerous studies to be a good kind of mental exercise. Chess can be quite beneficial for your mental health even though it may not assist your biceps. Chess has been shown to raise IQ, enhance memory, foster higher levels of creativity, simultaneously exercise both sides of the brain, lessen the risk of Alzheimer's and dementia, and improve a child's problem, solving abilities. Believe it or not, anyone can learn to play chess because it is played all over the world by players of all ages. Learn chess if you want to change your brain and assist your child in changing theirs as well. How was the video? Did you enjoy it? Post your feedback in our comment section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.